Saltfish Girl, novel by Larissa Lai, published in 1967 by Thomas Allen Publishers, storybook by Bethany L. for English 242D. Spoiler alert! At the beginning, there was a mermaid named Nuwa. She created men, but envied their love. So, she split her tail and joined them. In a short, short time, she crawls into some water, shrinks, and a barren woman drinks her. She was born again as a beautiful baby girl in the late 1800s. As Nuwa grows, her parents want her to marry. She does not want to and falls for the saltfish seller's daughter, Saltfish Girl. They run off together. The two fall into hard times. Saltfish Girl nearly goes blind doing factory work, while Nuwa picks pockets. One day, Nuwa meets a mysterious lady who takes her to the island of mist and forgetfulness. While there, Nuwa is forced to work and even imprisoned. She forgets her language and must kill the mysterious lady in order to gain freedom. Nuwa returns to the saltfish girl, finding that decades have passed and that she cannot communicate with her. She returns to her family, who passes her off as her own niece and marries her off in a trade agreement. Nuwa's true agent and identity are discovered and she is chased by an angry mob. She runs to a pool of water, returns to her tiny mermaid figure, and curls up in a durian fruit. The year is now 2044, and institutions run Canada. Cities are divided into two factions, the regulated zone and the unregulated zone. Miranda is miraculously conceived after her mother eats Nuwa's durian fruit. Miranda reeks of the durian, and her father works tirelessly to get rid of her smell. Her father gets a job as a virtual tax collector for the institutions, the government, but loses his job after a conflict. Now poor, the family moves to the Forbidden Zone and opens a small store. Miranda's mother dies, and Miranda must start working for Dr. Flowers. Dr. Flowers researches the dreaming disease, something Miranda may have. At work, she meets Evie, who smells of saltfish and evokes memories for Miranda. Evie entrances Miranda, who is drawn not only to her scent, but also to her story. Evie is in fact a clone, bio biologically engineered by Dr. Flowers using fish DNA in an effort to create factory workers. Evie and her sisters escaped and now actively protest the slave labor by using altered durian fruit to conceive children and footprints to leave messages. Miranda fights industrialization as well as the temptation to work for the institutions as an advertisement writer. Evie helps her and together they run from Dr. Flowers and the companies into the woods. Miranda realizes she is pregnant. As the moon rises, Miranda and Evie jump into a pool. They both turn into mermaids like Nuwa before them. Miranda gives birth to her child. The end.